Kaplan to Math Sessions with Mr. M. And today we are going to touch on and we are going to continue, in fact, from our previous video, which basically carried our introduction when it comes to sine and cosine graph. So today we are going to explain on how to find the unknown values that are involved in these two different equations of these two graphs that we have right here. So we basically have a sine and a cosine graph. Now, these are two different and we have an F for sine graph and we have a G for a cosine graph. So these two graphs have a common point at 1 and 45 degrees. Now, listen very carefully. This is what we have for y, which is f at x. Our sine graph is equal to sine a x. This is our basic equation for a sine graph. Now, for our cosine, we are given g at x is equal to cos x minus b. There we have it. So. We are basically asked of this one to find the value for A and the value for B. Now, these are two different scenarios. This is A, the coefficient that affects the period of the graph. So, if you have anything there, it affects what is the, exactly the period of the graph. And B, now we know that this is a horizontal shift of the graph. It's affecting the degrees of this cosine graph. So, whether moved a certain degree to the right or to the left depending on the sign but now we have a negative sign which is telling us exactly that it is shifted to the right with a certain degree and that is that that is what we need to find so let's attend a first because we have a side graph let us make it very simple because we need to find the value for y and the value for x to find our a and we need to find a common point so by the look of inspection by inspecting this one at this point here at one we have only two values for y, negative 1 and 1. So we are going to use this one because it already turns here at 45 degrees and 1. So we have a value for x which is 45 degrees and a value for y for y which is 1. So we say and change this one. We say we have a y is equal to sine ax right there. At y we have 1, sine a, at x we have 45 degrees. There we have it. Now, what we do now, we are going to shift our sign. We are going to shift our sign, which is basically shift sign to the exponent of 1. You open the bracket and close it and insert 1. is equal to A, 45 degrees. There we have it. So, when you shift it into your calculator, you are basically going to get a 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees is equal to A, 45 degrees, right here. So, we basically want A, and we divide by 45 degrees. What you do on the left, you do also on the right hand side. 45 cancels 45. And right here, A is equal to 2. So we have found the value for 2. Easy and straightforward. So if you have an A as your coefficient right there on the sine graph, you basic, it's basically easy to take from the natural period of a sine graph, which is 360 degrees. You divide it by 2 because A affects the period of that sine graph, you are going to get 180 degrees. You already know your period. Now, let's find our B now, the shift, the horizontal shift of the cosine graph. The cosine graph is the same thing. We need to find the value for y is equal to cos x, find the value for x minus p, right here. The same point that we used on this one is the same relevant point, because we have two values there. We have 45 because this is where these two graphs meet. So we use the same point. So we use the value for y, which is 1, is equal to cos x is 45 degrees, as we know it, minus p. So we are looking for a certain degree shifted to a certain direction, right on this one, which is p. Now, at 1, we shift cos, cos, exponent 1, open bracket, you close it with 1. And therefore, we left with 45 degrees on this side, minus p. So if you shift your cos and insert 1, you are going to get a 0. So 0 is equal to 45 degrees minus p. And you take the 45 degrees to the other side of the equal sign, you are going to get a negative 45 degrees equal to a negative p. And therefore, you cancel the negatives on both sides. Therefore, your p will be equal to 45 
degrees. So you basically are you are you have discovered that the graph is shifted 45 degrees to the right hand side, which is basically is positive. So there it is, and this is proving this turning point right here to be correct. And that is how easy and straightforward to find this one. And that's all from me, Mr. M. Have a wonderful day and a great one. God bless you. Bye-bye. When it's my time, man, I hope I make you proud. Man, I hope I make you proud, fam. When it's my time, my time. This is about right time. I take action, yeah, yeah, yeah.